everybody in this track, they're all playing to the same tempo, but they're not playing to the same groove. And music is a lot more than just about sounds. Music is also about a rhythmic feel. And rhythmic feels can literally be measured in milliseconds, how far a person is pushing a performance in terms of the milliseconds, especially on the 16th notes, forward or backward in time to create a feel. And we can totally fix that in Reason and we have complete control over it using the Regroove Mixer, which is right here. There it is, the Regroove Mixer. So the Regroove Mixer and any groove patch that we load in here in the factory sound bank, we can see that the Regroove patches are located down here. There they are. And any of these groove patches can be loaded in here. And these groove patches can be applied to any MIDI performance. Not just the MIDI performance that you play in from your keyboard or a MIDI controller, but also MIDI performances such as a Rex loop. And it's really handy when working with Rex loops because all those Rex loops that were played at different tempos, at different times, in different studios, at different places in the world, we can get all those loops to work together around the same rhythmic groove engine, a groove patch. So let's do it. The first thing I have to do here before I can do anything else is I have to copy these Rex loops to track so that the regroove channels, which are applied here, the tracks can then take on the properties of the groove patch loaded into the regroove channel. So let's start with the drums here and work our way through. Copy loop to track. And remember to turn off the Dr. Rex, Dr. Dr. Rex playback here so that we don't have a double trigger situation. Go to the percussion. Copy loop to track. Turn off the loop. Go to our guitar. Copy loop to track. Turn off the Dr. Dr. Rex loop. And I've got some horns down here that I might put on later. Who knows? Copy loop to track. And there we go. Everything's copied to track now. So let's go in here and load up a groove patch and see what it sounds like. First, what I'll do is I will solo just the drums and take a listen to those. Go to my factory sound bank, go to the groove patches, and choose the. Hmm, Let's, let's choose a drummer here. Got a hip-hop kind of feel to it. I think we'll stay with that hip-hop feel. Maybe go with the more vintage soul funk sound. How about the uh, Washington, D.C. groove? So we'll apply that, and we'll take a listen to it. First, we have to, first we have to make sure that it's assigned, and then we'll take a listen to it. I like that. That works good. If you'd like to audition some other patches, you can just click the up and down arrow, try something different. You could be loading something in differently here. It can all be done in real time. We'll go back to that Washington groove because that was working really well. And then you know, this is a groove engine. This is the main groove engine for all the tracks in the song. So generally speaking, I like to stick with the main groove engine for all the tracks in the song. You can totally mix this up, and I'll show you how in a minute. But let's start by doing that and seeing how it sounds. Make sure everybody's on the Washington, D.C. groove. And yes, everybody's on the Washington, D.C. groove. We go and let's take a listen. We can compare this by just simply turning off the groove. And that's a pretty big difference. I mean, that sounds pretty sloppy without it. Turn it back on. It sounds much tighter. 
An important parameter that I always like to adjust, especially when using the regroove patches, the groove patches is impact velocity, which can be found if you click on the edit button here in the tool window, and it's right here. So these groove patches, they're taken from a live performance and they also include MIDI velocity. Well, maybe when you were playing it, you liked your MIDI velocity, so you don't need to apply the MIDI velocity. Like the bass line that I performed, I like the MIDI velocity. So we'll just turn the MIDI velocity off or turn it way down. And listening to that now, I can tell that well, I actually like a little bit on this one. So I'll go to 50%. Take a listen to that. Maybe even a little bit more. Seems like around 60% sounded pretty good. Turn it off. That's definitely sloppier. And that's definitely tighter. You can tell that these timing changes are pretty subtle. I mean, you really have to focus and pay attention to how the beats are hitting on each track and how they're all working together.